No food. No. 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 My soup's gonna get soggy. Uh, you know what? You should have thought of that before you made the soups, before I said we were recording. I'm going downstairs. You did it to yourself. <laughs> did you take the soup back? You're standing over the corner, ramming ramen into your face. Not sponsored by. Why are you always eating? You need to wash that down with some chips. You are always eating. You're a gangly anomaly. Gangly. You heard me. I don't know how your wife, Ash, I feel so bad for you. Oh, I could have been done with this already. Ask me, Gary. You think this is an act, and it's not. This is genuine frustration. Like, you need to feel bad for me. I come in, we attempt to get things done. He Ridiculous. What is up, guys? Beard and Cranky. Do I have cheddar breath? I don't care. I, the camera can't smell you, and... <laughs> you do have cheddar breath. Just to clarify. What's up guys, Beard and Bowler. What you're about to watch is, was a very stressful day. How do we break this down for them? So, what you saw in the last vlog was our production process, what it's like to be on set with us, directing, producing, all the big stuff. Mm -hmm. What you're about to see is our post-production process. Industry standard is four weeks. Four. Four rough cut. We tell our clients two weeks. And we usually have something done before then. Problem was with this one, we had less than a week to turn it around. We're known as the guys who can get that done and done really well. Super, super stressful though, because we didn't really have a whole lot of leeway if they didn't like our first cut. Yeah, they wanted to show the client Monday and this was Friday. Friday, this is Friday late. All right, <laughs> this is, I almost got run over by a car. This is client test day. This is a very stressful day. We are on our way to the client. It is the 11th hour and my watch, my Fitbit is dead. It is like 4.15 and we need to get from Dumont to Mawa in 45 minutes. Before 5. It's like 4.30 right now before 5. 45 minutes. And hustling you out for the last 10 minutes in there rubbing your glasses. I'm like, just pack it up. Don't defend him. He needs, he needs to be scolded. He is extra cranky today, folks, if you haven't seen it. And I'm the one under all the pressure because it's my edit they're gonna be looking at right now. Here's the thing. I'm gonna need you to drive not reckless. Here's the thing. Get in the car. I'm gonna get sick if Here's you do. The thing. You, you piled on my bag. I need that bag. Just get in the car. Get in the car, Jason. I try to get him to dial it back. He just, he doesn't know how to undial. So we're on our way to the first reveal. We uh, were pretty tense <laughs> leaving here because we spent the entire day from very early in the morning editing just this piece. We didn't finish the actual edit. You were working on it in the car. Tensions are high. Um, there's a lot There's a lot at risk here because if the client didn't like it, dead in the water and, and all that money's kind of gone for us as well. So again, this was, we're on our way to DSM, our client. Our client. So we could show them for their get client. it ready for their client, yeah. NJBIA. It sounds very confusing, but it's yes. not. Very simple. I just got audio of that. I have proof now. Yep. Did you hear that, everybody? I have proof. Oh, <laughs> he called me a genius. 
I think it's his new ringtone every time that I call him. All right, credit where credit is due. This guy pulls off a live edit with our DSM client. Nobody does that. On the fly, when they would make a comment, Jason with his magic fingers would just kind of bloop and get it done. It was pretty cool to watch. I'm proud of him. Proud of my boy. And they liked it. That's a win for us. They that was were a big win. gushing over it. And yep. they were like, I've never seen anything like this when you can do this in a room. I think, I think the win for us really was that it wasn't a stressful environment. No one argued. No one fought. We ate beef jerky. We try to go in with as little ego as possible, which is difficult for artists when we care about what we're doing. Yeah. But headed in there, working with these guys, uh, it was just about let's get something really good, put all of our brains together, and I think it was just a really, it was a good collaboration. They're easy to work. With. They're easy to work with. And you gotta have thick skin when you're an editor. Yeah. Because when people are saying, eh, I don't like that, and you're like, oh, I spent three artistic hours. integrity. Yeah. Yeah. I have my reasons. I'm don't get defensive. An artist. Still working on it with, with IZB. Yeah. IZB. Defensive. Don't get defensive. Just do just what. Cut. Just cut. Yeah. It's not personal. <laughs> We're just pointing out that you don't have the talent that you think you do. <laughs> He's totally kidding. I am. I <laughs> He's like a little bit. So, so the day went really, really well. And then. All right, dude. Bro, do you like it or not? Do you like it or not? I'm only here, so. Yeah. Can you get out? Oh, it's locked. Here we go. I don't think the dark will help. Motion. <laughs> Police. Derek, this is great content, by the way. <laughs> I think Jason and Matt rigged this system so this one happens so they get better footage. Bryson, why is it every time I come here, y'all try to keep us here way longer than we planned? Because we <laughs> like you. I'm gonna set this, Go and then we're just gonna. I gotta open. You're gonna open it. Open that. Do you guys, do you have a sleeping bag? Bye guys. <laughs> we got tons of cereal. We'll be fine. There's no key. There's no key for this? I don't have it. Don't look at this, man. That's a wrap. The review, I think, went extremely well. And uh, they were very happy yeah, with what we got. The recurring theme was, nobody does this. Like what we just did. Nobody, do nobody does that. This size project, though, yeah. in four days. Had to do it. In four days. Hashtag worth it. Okay. It is the peaking button. It'll tell you when the audio is too loud. <laughs> do you do it? I don't know. I'm not. Can I see it? Don't get my ear. I'm just gonna leave you with that. I don't know what to do with this. Jason, you know I'm afraid to touch things because I break them. Jason?